and welcome to the 26th episode of Tuesdays with Toby. My name is Toby Frierson and I am super excited to be back with you all again today for a conversation regarding what I hope will be a much more normal summer than summer 2020. Let's face it, none of us could have anticipated what we experienced last summer with the coronavirus and now that it looks like there might be a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, we want to get out there and we need to make a plan. We need to make a summer plan. Let's everyone, let's get out of the house. Let's experience new things. Let's be with family and friends. Let's go on adventures. Let's make lasting memories. I tell you what, if 2020 told us anything, it told us that we are not in control and that our time here, our time on earth, well, it's limited. So now that summertime is here, and if you're vaccinated and feeling comfortable moving around a little bit, what's on the top of your list? Are you ready to connect with family and friends that you haven't seen in forever? Or are you ready to get out there and start exploring and meet new people and develop new friendships? I know I am so ready to get out there. I really am. And that's why I'm coming to you with this episode today. I wanna share my summer plans with you in hopes that you will drop some comments below for me and you share your plans as well. And we can literally just plan out this whole incredible summer 2021, hopefully filled with reunions, filled with lots of fun, and just filled with being able to exhale a little bit after coming through such a tough year. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. But before we dive into summer fun, it's time for us to say our family rules. You all already know them. Look behind me, ready, read. During Tuesdays with Toby, we will use kind words. Do your best. Always be honest. Forgive and forget. Be happy. Count your blessings. Laugh at yourself. Stay positive and love one another. When we start to talk about summer fun, we probably need to define summer. I know today when I went to record this message, I asked Siri, hey Siri, when does summer 2021 start? And she said, summer 2021 started June 20th, 2021. Y'all, that was Father's Day. And so I think I told some of you before, I actually work in higher education. And so being on a academic schedule or calendar, if you will, my summer did not start on Father's Day. My summer working at a university actually starts uh, middle of May because that's when graduation wraps up. And really that's kind of the unofficial beginning of summer. It's not that I don't work throughout the summer. I absolutely do. There are tons of things that need to be done on a college campus all throughout the summer, including the fact that we have classes in a session for summer school, but the rhythm and the pace and the demands are very different than they are uh, during the fall and spring semesters, if you will. So that's the first thing. When does your summer start? Because mine started, like I said, right after graduation ceremonies in the middle of May. Some of you all are actually still in school, depending on where you're watching from. So I would like to know when your summer starts before we map out and start with this plan. Okay, for me, number one on my summer fun planning list is family. I want to spend time with my family. I am fortunate enough to be within two hours of driving time from my parents, from aunts and uncles, from cousins, from childhood friends. I'm two hours away. So I want to do that. I also want to go another two hours. So I'm four hours away from my brother and I have not seen my nieces and my sister-in-law, well, seen them in person throughout the whole pandemic. So I'm ready for those moments. So number one, I want to spend time with family. Number two, I want to have a focus on health and fitness and wellness. And I was really fortunate to be introduced to a program um, that is actually bringing that to my life in a super real way. It's called e to m Fitness. Put a pin right there. I'm going to give you all an entire episode on this program that I'm in next week. And there's a reason why I'm going to dedicate a whole episode to it. Number three, water sports. Oh my goodness. I absolutely plan on having summer fun in the water. Things like kayaking, like jet skis, like boating. Toby's going to be doing water sports, um, and I've been fortunate enough to do some of that already. Number four, beach time. Lots of beach time. Lots of beach time. I, I live uh, within 45 minutes of two really, really amazing islands that have beautiful beaches. Um, and there's tons of beaches that I actually I discovered during the pandemic that I didn't even know anything about that are also very close to me in driving time. So beach time is number four. Number five, travel. I'm gonna be taking some trips. I actually took my first flight, you all, on June 10th, and it wasn't that bad. I was super like, I was kind of side-eyeing all of y'all that were flying during the pandemic. I was, um, but what the feedback I was getting from those of you who were traveling was, 
Toby, this is the safest time ever to travel. Everything is so sanitized. People have to wear masks. You know, things are safe. And I did have my first experience with that on June 10th. And so I want to do more travel. Like I um, have already been to a few places. I've been to New York, Amelia Island, uh, Hilton Head. I'm going to be going to Virginia Beach. I'm going to North Carolina and I hope to go to Texas as well. So there's a travel list. Nothing international right now. Not ready for all that. This virus is still out there, folks. Still out there. Um, oh, hosting house parties and cookouts. I had an opportunity. I had a, a coworker who was leaving and um, this person actually I worked very closely with. And I was like, you know what? Um, this is unexpected. You guys did not know you were losing him. Um, let's have something at the house. People are vaccinated. If people are comfortable, they'll come. If they're not, they won't. And I got a chance to host people in my home for the first time in a year and a half. And it was like two weeks ago and it's still fresh in my mind. I literally sat there y'all and just like stared at my guest. Like I could not believe I actually had people in my home. So a part of my summer fun is summer parties, cookouts. Um, and yes, you can come. Absolutely. DM me though. I can't put all that information in the comment section below. Um, what else are we going to do this summer? Oh, I want to reconnect with D group. You all have heard about my D group. It's a dream group. It's a group of ladies that I've been walking with since 2018. Um, we did uh, find during the pandemic for a little while on Zoom. So all of 2020 was Zoom and then 2021 hit. And I think fatigue just just sat in and we just were not able to be as connected um, as we have been in the past. And so I'm ready to reconnect with them. We did have our first activity uh, this past Friday, I believe. And so that was super cool. So this summer will be devoted to more activities, being able to see them more in person and just that reconnection moment. Uh, let's see, number eight, I wanna go to concerts. I need live music in my life. I happen to be able to go to Good Times Jazz. This is downtown on Broughton Street. I highly recommend it. They do a gospel brunch on Sundays. And so I got a chance to go out for the gospel brunch. Um, I love gospel music. I've been a part of gospel music all my life. Um, and it was fantastic to go there. And I was like, you want more of this. You want more live music. So I'm gonna be looking for concerts. I'll be looking for opportunities for local live music. And I'll be doing that this summer. Number nine, I'm gonna be writing. Um, I actually already was supposed to have had something written and submitted. That should have been done like back in April. I just got a phone call and a nudge about said thing just recently. And so a part of my summer also will be devoted to writing um, and trying to get some things on paper that I'm responsible for. And then number 10, and no, your list does not have to be 10 things for your summer fun. My list just happens to be 10 because I think in cycles like that, it, like, it had to be an even number. And then eight just sounded weird to me. Naps. Yes, a part of Toby's summer fun is a nap, but more specific than that, watching the weather and figuring out when these like afternoon rainstorms are coming up. So more specific than that is a nap in the rain or better than that, a nap in a thunderstorm. But literally y'all, I put naps down on my summer fun list. If my mom's watching, she's laughing at this because she's like, Toby, you take naps all the time. You've always been a napper. You'll just fall out anywhere. That is true. It's true. It's also called being anemic. But at any rate, um, I, I'm going to watch the weather and I am somebody who has a schedule every day. So there's there's always a plan. I'll be willing to alter my schedule if I can lay down and take a nap while it's raining. So these are my plans for summer fun 2021. Since we can't do this in real time, since you guys can't talk back to me because this is a recording, it's not a live video. I really need you to drop those comments below. I wanna hear what's on your list. Even if you don't share a long list, if you've got two or three items, what kind of fun are you gonna be having this summer? 2020 could have taken us out of here, literally. We know several people who it actually did take out of here. So let's go ahead and like change our focus right now. Let's get in a celebratory mood um, and let's hold ourselves accountable for having fun, for spending time with family, for making these commitments to kind of be positive and try to put our best foot forward anytime we can for reconnecting with people and reconnecting with things and activities that we enjoy doing. Let's do that again because I'll reiterate, and I said this at the top of today's program, I said this at the top of the message, none of us knew the challenges that we were going to face in 2020. And now that it appears that there may be a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel with us getting this virus under control, we need to make a plan for summer fun in 2021. Gosh, I hope that rhymes. I want you guys to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you back here next week and tell you all about this E to M fitness journey that I've been on. Take care, guys. Thanks for being here.
folks. Beautiful Saturday. Beautiful Saturday. Doing a little boat here in Hillcat. 